Good morning and welcome. This is Jewish Talk on the voice of NASA Community College, 90.3 WHBC, streaming live on the College Station and TuneIn.com. I'm Rabbi Pearl, and today we are discussing a fascinating subject. And of course, for the many who call us, you can get a copy and listen to all the archives of this program and all the wonderful programs of WHBC on Spreaker. Dot com, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com. Let me tell you what happened today, 3,672 years ago. On this very day, on the Jewish calendar, on the 17th day of Sivan, on this amazing day, seven months after the beginning of the Great Flood, and 17 days after the waters covered the earth, the waters that covered the earth during the Great Flood, subsided. And the ark, which sheltered Noah and his family and members of all the animal species, came to rest on the summit of Mount Ararat. Yes, my friends, on this very day, 3,672 years ago, Noah and his family in the ark during the great flood came to rest. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because the Hasidic master, the founding Hasidic master of the Chabad movement, Rabbi Shneir Zalman of Liadi, described the flood as a cleansing process. That the waters of the flood are like the waters of a ritualarium, better known as a mikvah, where the water spiritually cleanses the dross that accumulates in the person's, course of a person's life's endeavor. And during that time, during the great flood, the world received a spiritual cleansing. And this set the course of history on a course of hope and purpose. What is a mikvah? You see, a mikvah in modern day, a mikvah looks like a miniature swimming pool. So if you imagine the world during the Great Flood as being inside a mikvah. So a mikvah is like this small swimming pool. In a religious rich You know, Judaism is filled with detail and beauty and ornamentation. If you were to compare this to ancient times, you know, it typically a mikvah was a rather humble structure. The mikvah really offers the individual, the community, the nation of all of us, the nation of the Jewish people, a remarkable gift of purity and holiness. No other religious establishment structure or right can affect us because of this important mikvah. You see, the mikvah, researchers have spent millions of dollars searching for the secret of Jewish continuity. But the truth is, that secret of Jewish continuity lies in the holiness of a Jewish home. And the Jewish home is reflectant of what a mikvah is because mikvah is one of the few mitzvahs that surround the totality of our personality, expressing our life filled and predicated on holiness of body and of spirit. You see, the world's natural bodies of water, the oceans, the rivers, wells, and spring-spread lakes, are mikvahs in their primary, primal form. They contain waters of divine source, and therefore, Tradition teaches us water has a power to purify. And today, as we look back and realize what went on in the beginning of creation during the time of Noah, and today the ark came to rest, we are focusing on the significance of a mikvah and its many lessons. And therefore, the importance of a mikvah is something that we wish to share with you. You see, a mikvah must be built into the ground, built as an essential part of a building. So um, the mikvah contains a minimum of 200 gallons of rainwater that has been gathered and siphoned into a mikvah pool in accordance with a highly specific set of regulations. The reason you may be wondering why am I speaking about this today is because something extraordinary is happening. As I said so many years ago on this very day, Noah's Ark came to rest 
after the world had gone through this amazing cleansing process of the uh, the flood. And an amazing historical event is happening today in Merrick, Long Island. And to share with us the good news, we're inviting to our newsmaker hotline Rabbi Shimon Kramer, who is the Chabad director of the Chabad Center of Jewish Life in Merrick, who has joined us today to share with us this important good news for, here, for all of us here on Long Island. Welcome, Rabbi Kramer. Good Rabbi morning. Kramer, good thank you. Sure, sure. Good morning. Thank, thank you, Rabbi Pearl, for inviting me. I, I want you to know that everyone should know that how busy you are today, for today marks an important celebration. Please share with us the amazing historical event of celebration related to a mikveh here in Long Island. Thank you. Thank you. So we're really excited. It's after many years that we're finally opening up the mikveh in Merrick. Merrick has been waiting uh, for quite a number of years for this special opportunity. There has been uh, a lot of effort put into this. And and, um, and and we're ready. Uh, we would like to take this opportunity to invite all the listeners uh, to join us today, three thirty, at uh, the Chabad Center in Merrick, twenty one seventy four Hewlett Avenue, in Merrick. It's H E W L E T T in uh, in Merrick, at uh, entrance from Benson Lane. There will be a uh, there'll be we'll give uh, tours for the mikvah, talk about the mikvah. And uh, then, of course, a Sudat Mitzvah, which is uh, at a time when we have a, a celebration. We, we uh, also, of course, have a meal, so we will have a, a meal as well at the time. Fantastic. So 3.30 p.m. is the mikvah tour that take, taking place at the opening of this great mikvah, 3.30 for a mikvah tour. Followed at uh, about 4 o'clock will be a program and a buffet a dinner. Amazing. Dear friends, I, w- I want to extend it. On behalf of Rabbi Kramer, this amazing invitation. This is an effort, a joint effort over many years with Chabad Merrick of, uh, of Belmore and Merrick and Wontog, the Chabad Center for Jewish Life, led by the Kramer, Rabbi Shimon and Hani Kramer, who galvanized the community together with Mikvah USA and the Merrick Belmore Mikvah Association to bring this to happen. This has been an ongoing project. How long do you think it's, it's been take, uh, taking to, to actually put this uh, all together? The plans and finding a location and getting it all together has been taking many, many years. The actual building of the mikvah took about uh, two years. Two years, fantastic. Dear friends, you know, I, I want to, uh, for all of us to extend our best wishes to the Kramer family, to the, the Rabbi Shluchim over there, because we must appreciate, um, and I've know, knew a little bit on the ground, the thousands of hours of effort that helped make this happen today. And we want to thank you, Rabbi Kramer, and your Rebbitson, and all those involved uh, to making this, this dream happen for the community. You know, many, many people wonder what the, you know, the, what is the secret of Jewish continuity. I think what you're bringing about today in Merrick, Belmore area, and that, that part of Nassau County, is the real secret. The secret, of course, the holiness of a Jewish home, which is predicated on the importance of mikvah. And um, how, how uh, you, the, the, uh, the actual... Can you give us a bit of an idea of, of the mikvah? It's, it's uh, changing rooms. It has a waiting room. It is, uh, how, how big is the actual area itself? So, first of all, thanks again for inviting me. And, and uh, again, you're all welcome. I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, this afternoon. The mikvah, the mikvah has, when, when you come in, there's a waiting room. Uh, generally, it's by appointment, so there's not too much waiting. But in case it overlaps a bit, so there, there is a waiting room. And there are two, two uh, preparation rooms. One could be pier. We have a uh, 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 bubble tub and whirlpool and showers and everything is, of course, to, to the highest, highest end. And uh, the most beautiful, uh, most beautiful designed by a designer, local designer. And uh, then they go into an actual pool, which is chlorinated, filtered, uh, clean water. Fantastic. Dear friends, we're talking about history is being made. Today on the Jewish calendar is the 17th day of Sivan. Sivan, 17 in the, in the, in the Jewish uh, gematria, numerology, equals the word toiv. So we want to wish you, Rabbi Kramer, toiv, mazel toiv, on the 17th day of Sivan, on the very same day that Noach rested on Mount Ararat, you're opening this amazing mikvah that's going to be uh, opening to this afternoon at the Chabad Center for Jewish Life at 2174 Hewlett Avenue in Merrick. There's plenty of parking, everybody. Why don't you jo- join us? Uh, just come and spend spend an hour, half an hour. Be part of history. You can join Rabbi Kramer. He'll be giving us uh, a mikvah tour starting at 3.30 p.m. 
at that uh, wonderful location. And then about four o'clock will be a beautiful program. Can you give everybody an idea what's on the menu? I mean, Long Islanders, we like to know what's going on in the food department. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yes, it will be, uh, be a meat menu. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> now, now, I'm, now I'm really salad. coming. <laughs> <laughs> Fish, with, you know, whatever you can imagine. It's catered by seasons. Oh, now uh, it's course, kosher. Okay. And... and uh, Yes, please come. There'll be enough for everybody. Thank you very much. Rabbi Kramer and his rabbits have been working amazingly hard. They have an amazing Chabad center in the Merrick Belma areas. And you, do you realize, that, Rabbi, that uh, BMW, they think it is the name of a car, it really means the Chabad of Bar- Belma, Merrick, and Wontok, BMW. Am I right? Am I, am I, am I correct? So, uh, so That's correct. We continue driving. BMW. Uh, that's Keep right. on moving forward. Absolutely. So again, on behalf of all of our listeners and ourselves, we want to wish you success and uh, we look forward to being part of your Simcha today and to continue. We all take this opportunity to wish you continued success in all your amazing all these amazing programs as Shluchim of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Thank you and wishing you Hatzlacha Rabu Muflaga. Amen. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Thank you very much, Rabbi Kramer. So, dear friends, you know, this is an important event here on Long Island. I wanted to share it with you. The opening of the mikveh at the Chabad Center for Jewish Life. It was an amazing joint effort. Literally, so many hours. And really, we like to say thank you to you, Rabbi Kramer, to Mikveh USA and all the local Rabbonim and so many community leaders who have spent years on this project. Dear friends, come, let us celebrate together. Mazel tov to Rabbi Kramer and all those involved in making this happen. So mikvah is a, such an important idea, an important... Uh, that, that it, the truth is mikvah is an institution that has become, has a, a, you know, sometimes a victim of a popular misconception. You see, immersion in water is naturally associated with cleansing. And sometimes to further complicate the issue... Um, there has been times when we were not, Jewish people were not allowed to use rivers uh, in their cities for bathing. So in response to that, they built bathhouses, many with mikvahs in or near them. Today, these factors uh, have somehow <laughs> connected the idea of mikvah and physical hygiene. But the mikvah never was a, a monthly substitute for a bath or a shower. In fact, in Jewish law, it stipulates that one must be very scrupulous about uh, cl- being hygienically clean before immersing. And therefore, as the rabbi pointed out, to facilitate that requirement, there are preparation areas before going to the mikvah with baths, with showers, with shampoos, with soaps, all kinds of good things. And that's really a staple of modern-day mikvah. And I would like to take this opportunity to extend a, a um, an invitation. Typically, the mikvah is an important mitzvah, specifically for women. And if you've never had the opportunity to go to a mikvah, uh, even if uh, a lady is b- uh, beyond having children, etc., it's still extraordinary mitzvah to go to the mikvah at least once in one's life. And certainly if a person is still young and going through that uh, the monthly uh, pauses, etc., it's an important thing to go to the mikvah. And we would like to um, really take this number, 516-739-3636, Call us, and in a very discreet way, discreet way, and in a very modest way, uh, my wife and others will help you uh, learn about the mikvah and fulfill this in, in extraordinary mitzvah. And this has really become a new awareness amongst many, many women today uh, of the importance of a beautiful mikvah. The Merrick Merrick mikvah is lavish. I'm t- t- telling you, it's beautiful with elegant an elegant foyer with waiting rooms fully equipped preparation area. It's a well-designed mikvah, and you'll find such mikvahs all across the country and literally in, in, in every places. So, But what's exciting is that you can find now mikvahs in the most uh, offbeat areas that are not just in Jewish metropolises, that uh, you know, you'll find them even in exotic locations like in Anchorage, Alaska, Bogota, in uh, Bogota, Colombia, in Yer, in France, in uh, La Dispoli, in Italy, in Morocco, in Paraguay, in Lima, Peru, in Cape Town, Bangkok, in Tunisia, in, literally in every city in the former Soviet Union, there are literally today kosher and comfortable mikvahs and rabbis and rabbitsons willing to and able to assist any woman in their use. And here on Long Island, Rabbi Kramer and all the shluchim on Long Island um, are more than welcome to help anyone fulfill this mitzvah. It can be done in a very discreet way, but it's so important. In fact, I would...